Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have the Mistborn Mount Adoption License. Okay, so we have the Mistborn Mount Adoption Licenses. Let's open up these guys. There are 15 to get, so here we go with the first one, Lucent Sands. Nice jackal skin, that's really cool actually. Caledon Short Tail. Nice little panda. Crested Plains Runner. Well, that's very nice as well. Primeval for the Raptor. I thought I'd already had it. <laughs> Lethossal for the Skimmer. That's kind of cool. Stripe Winged Skyscale. The Storm Claw. That's pretty cool as well. Nautiloid for the beetle. Luminous Hunter for the griffin. Ugh, I'm not a big fan of this one. Of that style, anyway. <laughs> the Cozy Winter's Day uh, Sky Scale. I'll probably be using that for the time being. The Ice Forge Reaver. That looks awesome. Speckled Shortfang. You know that reminds that reminds me of the the dragon from the dragon movie. How to Train Your Dragon, that one. The face, just the kind of a uh, a kind of a childish grin, I suppose. At least from what I remember from that movie. Exalted Lay Vaulter. Pretty cool. Oh, nice. Branded Roller Beetle. That looks awesome. Point Tipped Corvus. And that's the last one, I think. Is that it? Yeah, that should be it. Awesome. Let's get into them. Start with Primeval on the Raptor. Has a bit of trail, has a bit of a trail effect, as you can see. And that's it as it jumps. And that's the disengage. The dive's top left is the saddle stuff. And the bit of the nose. Top right is the main body color. Bottom left is the eyes uh, bottom right is the kind of aura alright let's move on to the next one next we have the crested plains runner here it is there let's see it's jump Bit of a weird angle. That's quite, uh, quite nice. Not too bad of a skin. And that's the disengage there. And let's have a quick look at the dies for this as well. So top left we have the main body. Top right is the underbelly. Uh, bottom left are the. Back of the neck, the feet, the back of the tail, and the paws, I suppose, not feet. And then, uh, bottom right is the kind of central horn on his head. Right, that is it for the raptor. Let's head on to the springer. We'll start with the Caledon short tail. Let's go for the default eyes. This very much looks like a, a panda from the waist up. And let's disengage there. Ooh, that's a bit of a purple aura. Hmm, cool. And let's have a quick look at the dyes. We'll go with a red this time, because there's no red on it. 
So, top left is the main uh, kind of... Top left is the accent, so the eyes, the ears, the uh, legs as well, and the arms. Uh, top right is the main body sort of thing, so the head and the belly and back. Bottom left would be the saddle, and bottom right is the eyes. Let's move on to the exalted lay vaulter. So here's the exalted lay vaulter. Not too bad. And let's have a look at its disengage. And there we are. And then again the dies. So top left is the main body. Top right is the accents. As you can see. Uh, bottom left is the armor plating. And bottom right is the eyes. That's the last of the springers. Let's have a look at the... Is there only one? There was only one, wasn't there? So, on Skimmer we have the Lithossal, which looks pretty cool, I think. I really like the moss on it. There is it in the air. Uh, let's have a look at its engage skill. Pretty standard. And then we'll also have a quick look at the dies. So here we have the dies. With top left is the main body of the stone. And it's also called stone, the stone die. Uh, top right is the moss. Bottom left is the accents on the moss. And bottom right, I think it's the eyes, is it? Yeah, it's the eyes. Cool, let's move on to the jackal. So here's the Lucent Sands Jackal skin. I really, really like this. Very, very nice. Has a bit of a trail effect. And a custom... Uh, custom movement skill. That's the word I'm looking for. And then the engage skill. There it is. Standard engage. Let's have a look at the dies. Top, top left is the armor. Top right is the kind of sand underbelly. Well, back, I suppose. Bottom left is the ears and the nose, it looks like as well. Yeah. Oh, and uh, a lot of the paws and underbelly as well. And then bottom right is also the underbelly and the eyes. Well, mainly the actual whole body, sorry. Right, let's move on to the War Claw. First up is the Storm Claw. That's pretty cool. <laughs> let's have a look at that running towards it. It's not bad. And let's have a look at the engage skill. And then we'll do that one more time. With a better angle. Nice. Right, let's have a look at the dies. So we have top left is the main body of the armor. Top right is accents on the armor, such as the horn. Bottom left is the underbelly, like under the armor. So under the tail there. And bottom right is the electricity. Which on Shadow of this, it just disappears. Also the eyes too. Alright, let's move on to the next war claw, which is the Ice Forged Reaver. So here we have it. Oh, it's so cool. It looks really, really cool. Bit of a trail effect there. And let's have a look at the engage skill. 
again from another angle. Nice. Let's move on to the sky scale. So first is the stripe wing sky scale, pretty basic skin. There we go. And let's look at the engage. Regular fire. Disappointing as always. <laughs> I always want there to be something unique with the sky skill. Anyway, let's have a look at the dies. So top left is the outside body and the tail. Top right is the underbelly. Bottom left is the claws on the wing. And bottom right is the kind of orange tinge on the front of the legs and also on the horns and wings. Let's move on to the next one, which is the... Go with the speckled short fang. Oop. Wrong mount. So here's the speckled short fang. Definitely looks really like playful, as I was saying. The wings are a bit more rounded, I think. At least they look it to me. Just a little bit, not too much. Maybe I'm just seeing things. And let's have a look at the engage skill. Oh, we didn't look at that. There we go. There's the engage. Just regular again. And we'll have a look at the die scheme. So, top left, as you can see, is main body. Oh, there we go. Top right, underbelly. Bottom left is accents. Around the face, wings, and uh, legs. Bottom right is the accents on the saddle. Right, so here we have the cozy winter's day sky scale. Very similar to uh, the previous ones of this set. Leaves behind a trail of snowflakes. And does it have a custom engage? No, it does not. Let's have a look at the dies. We top left is the main body. Top right is the jumper. Bottom left is the accents on the jumper and Santa hat. Which is also including the top uh, right is also including the Santa hat. And bottom right is the accents on the main body, such as the snowflakes. Now, next we are on to the sky scale. No, next we are on to the griffin. Right, next we have the point tipped corvus griffin. It's actually quite nice as well for a, a somewhat basic skin. I really like the blue on the wings. It's got a bit of a longer beak, more streamlined face. Let's have a look at the engage. Pretty basic. And finally, the dies. So, top left we have the main body. Top right we have the neck and belly. Bottom left we have accents on the jewel, ears and wings. And also on the bottom right, accents on the very tips of the wings. And the middle of the back and also around the gemstone. Next up, we have the Luminous Hunter. We had this for the Skimmer a while back. Uh, I didn't quite... Like, it's not my favourite skin type. And I believe it's still not. I, just, I think it gets very, very bright green underneath the belly. Which isn't really for me. Like, that's just blinding in my opinion. But, you know... Others may like it, and that's, that's perfectly fine. Let's have a look at the dies. So, top left is the main body of the feathers. Top right is the saddle. Bottom left is the... Inner layer of feathers there in the top, or bottom left, sorry. 
and then bottom right is underneath. Looks weird, all black. <laughs> so yeah, bottom right's underneath there. The glow mainly. Doesn't look as bad actually without the glow. To get rid of the glow. Okay. Let's move on to the roller beetle. Right, here is the Nautiloid roller beetle skin. Okay, good look at this. Ah, oh, no! I fell. How do I get out? Here we go. Right, there it is. <laughs> Not alloyed with default dies. Let's have a look at the dye channels here. The top left is the stripes on the back and the head. Top right is the main Cavalier body. Express bottom left is going to be the antennae. Parcels. And Thinking bottom right help. is the eyes. And then finally, we have the branded roller beetle. I'm quite looking forward to this one, actually. Here we go. Ooh, it looks. Oh, it's got a really cool trail effect. That's awesome. You leave brand behind you. That's so cool. That's really cool. I really like this. Okay, that is the branded roller beetle. Very, very nice skin. And we'll have a quick look at the dies. So, top left is going to be the body and the antennae. Bottom right is the underbelly and side of the shell. Bottom left is going to be the base of the crystals and top right is going to be the tip of the crystals. Well guys, that is it for today's demo. I do hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did and subscribe for more in the future. Just due to how busy I am, the giveaway is going to open up tomorrow evening sometime. I'll post a message in the Discord once it is up tomorrow. Probably will be about the time that the demo goes live today or tomorrow um so yeah make sure to join the discord to stay up to date with all things new on the channel such as new videos when i go live and our weekly screenshot challenge every saturday in guild wars 2 and uh, also happy christmas and holidays to everyone i uh, hope you all if you're celebrating have a lovely time and yeah i'll be back with the giveaway tomorrow uh just have loads to do today so i won't have the time to do it uh so yeah, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, goodbye.